Thanks for tuning in to another video guys. In today's video we are going to be talking about how much it costs to get these tyres changed on a GTR. A lot of people have asked me what is the cost, the cost around what it, what it, what it's going to cost out your bank basically in order to change the tyres on this car. So we'll talk about the different options, how much they are, um, the best place to get fitted and sort of the fitting process. So I want to give you guys an insight into how much it costs billing wise and just to let you know in case you are thinking of buying one or just in general if, you, if you're watching because you're interested in what the cost is around it. It's the first time I've had a GTR so I don't actually know the cost. We're going to find out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're getting closer to hitting a thousand subscribers. So I love you guys and you've got to make sure you subscribe. In terms of the costing behind the tyres on the GTR, at the moment I'm running Dunlops all the way around. We've got different width on the front and the back. The backs as you can expect are slightly wider. So you've got 295s on the back um, and I think I've got 255s or 265s on the front. Don't ask why I'm running that setup because it wasn't chosen by me, it was by the previous owner. One thing I have to comment is the Dunlop tyres do not hold the ground whatsoever. So the one thing that does let this down is Dunlop is not a good brand for the tyres. The thing is we're running stock power with the exhaust roughly around 590 bhp and the car slips and slides all over the place. Don't feel confident. Personally, I love sliding the back end out but this is a four wheel drive, it shouldn't be doing that naturally. What I am going to do is I am going to be buying um, Michelin Pilot Super Sports uh, or the nearest thing. So this depends on what I find on the market. You've got to make sure you subscribe because I'll show you the process behind actually putting my new tyres on and the difference it makes on drive. So I'll show you the before, so how the Dunlops drive and after how the um, Michelins drive. Because the Michelins have had the best rating currently, so it depends. Um, but what I will do now is I'll go inside, uh, jump onto the computer and let's check what options we have available in terms of different pricing. So the thing for me is I like to go online to buy tyres because when it comes to getting the right price you should never buy tyres physically um, from the shops. But saying that Costco have some very good prices. So we're going to jump onto the computer, check what Costco can offer us. There's a company that I like to use called Camskill. Uh, we'll go onto a generic site like um, Black Circles and uh, Quickfit and we'll see how big the price difference is and then obviously fitting wise we'll get a bit more of an idea. So we're going to basically give you an overall price of how much these tyres are going to set you back. One comment I must make is especially with this car you need to have some serious tyres because the amount of power that you have to put down rubbish tyres means you're not going to stick to the ground one thing that I've learnt is in previous cars that I've had I've put the best tyres on possible and we've got amazing performance especially with this car being the beast Godzilla um, you have to have the daddy tyres because without the daddy tyres you are going off the road especially when my father has driven this he's like mate i'm okay i don't i don't want to give it the full whack but i like to just like sort of challenge myself i've tested the tires out it's a no go from me these dunlops are so sketchy so yeah let's go check some prices out okay so what we're going to do now is jump on to the following websites to find out where we can get the best price tires from costco as far as I'm aware, just here it has a special offer. So if you buy two or more Michelin tires, you get £50 off, or you buy four or more, you get £100 off. So Costco is looking like a shout. Uh, however, as I said, we've got Quick Fit Open, we've got Cam Skill, and then we've got Black Circle. So we're going to do a nice little comparison so we can see how much a consumer pays if they go directly to the garage, because there, there are some people that do that. They can't bother with the whole internet side of things. but. At the same time, we're going to see how much these the likes of Costco and Camskill are offering. So Camskill is internet only. I will put the link for it in the comments section. So if you are interested in tyres, not just for a GTR, but just tyres in general, Camskill is a great place to go. But Costco right now are smashing it. So let's have a look. So first things first, 
we are going straight into Costco's website and having a look at what they've got to offer. So they've got a promotion here for save up to £100 on Michelin tyres. First things first, let's put the vehicle reg in and hit search. Okay, so it's giving me the information for the front and the rears. Okay, we're going to allow the location and we're going to find the nearest warehouse basically to see where and how we can get these fitted for tyre installation. Because the best thing about Costco is they offer you that fitment pricing within the cost of the tyres. Okay. There we go. So it's come up with the, the range of tyres that they've got to offer. And that is showing up at £188 and 38 pence for the Pilot Super Sport 4, but we are going for the Sport Cup 2 XL. It's £226.78 including VAT. So that is not bad in terms of how much it's setting you back. So that's obviously for the back end. And then for the, so that was for the front. And then if we go for the rear tyres, the rears we are looking for, they've got a few different ranges. The only problem with these websites is sometimes they get confused. So the best thing to do is go into a tyre shop, make sure you get the size referencing done. And then yeah, so here we go, Michelin Pilot Super Sport. <coughs> that says Ferrari on the end, that's clearly not us, because we don't do Italian shit bags. Um, there we go, so £230.29 including that. That is beautiful. So at the moment, we're obviously looking at that times two, which gives us 460 for the back. And then obviously at the front, you're looking at another 400 pounds. So within a thousand pound, you would be able to get these tires and you'd be able to get them fitted. That is through Costco. Let's move on to the ripoff merchants, quick fit. Let's have a look at what they're offering. Uh, they are saying 242 pounds. So again, okay. You're basically going to hit a thousand pounds if you go to uh, quick fit, and then the thing is, the front tires they don't even bloody have them, so that is a bit of a letdown. That's one thing that definitely they need to work on because end of the day, if they don't have tires available, how do you expect someone to order? So if we move on to Black Circles now, that's uh, another site that's online based, pretty decent. Let's see what they can offer. The, the thing is, with some of these sites, they obviously they don't specialize in performance tires. So they struggle to bring the information up. But here, look, 246. So the going rate is 200 pounds on an average, but 246 is slightly above higher than usual. But some people might want the tires delivered straight away, uh, which these guys do. They do. They basically do a next day guaranteed delivery. So it's pretty good in that case. And we are looking at 201 for the other set. So that's not bad. That's 400 and then 480. So 880 and then obviously with your £40 fitting, yeah, again, that, that's within £1,000. So, so far, Quick Fit has looked like an extortion. Now, we, the last site that we jump onto is Camskill, and we get to see what these guys have to offer. Camskill's a bit of a letdown in terms of once you put your reg in, it doesn't uh, give you that option, and then you have to kind of search for it. So all winter tyres, all weather tyres, etc., and then you have to scroll, scroll through and manually look. But the thing with Camskill is they can offer you a decent discount depending on when how you look. So in the past I've had it for my Volkswagen GTI, I bought Michelin tires and I've, I've saved like £50, £60 per tire in comparison to anybody else's offering. So that's basically a sum up of a few of the sites that I use. I just thought I'd give you guys a comparison of the pricing in terms of the tires. So just to show you a bit of the options that we have. Yeah, it's pretty decent, but the internet is the place to be. Forget the shops. So just to confirm, I am running 295s on the back, 265s on the front. A bit of an unusual setup, but it's very similar to my E46 M3 that I had. Now, the best thing about this car is the tyres obviously let it down, but it manages to really put the power down. So. What I do want to do in the next video uh, in relation to the tyres is get the Michelins on and I want to see the difference that it makes on the vehicle itself. Um, overall, I'm probably going to give the tyre importance probably a 9 out of 10 because you can have everything else. You can have the power, you can have the exhaust, the performance, but 
none of that matters if you don't have the right tire set up so one thing is the tire must have a good wall on it um, and at the same time don't get something that just isn't made for every day uh, because these are noisy wherever you go you can just say rah, 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 rumbles and that for me is not where I want to be I want a bit of comfort because I'm very used to all the German powerful cars and the Japs I wouldn't say they're up there but they're definitely packing a punch so thank you very much for watching this video guys and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we've got plenty more